Sri, how have people been reacting to the museum's new admission hike? Well, the fact that there's so much interest and you were talking to you about the story tells you how much people care about museums and arts and culture, and especially the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where I had the privilege of working for three years. I'm not involved with them in any formal way now. So what I'm sharing now are sort of my thoughts. But the fact is that there is a lot of attention being paid to this. Now, the Met is one of the rare museums in America where you're able to, uh, for a single price that you pay, whatever you pay, you could go and see everything in the museum. There wasn't a separate price for exhibitions that, like you might see in some uh, museums in England, for example, where admission is free, but you pay for exhibitions or in some other places. So they've been very constrained by that uh, original agreement that they had with the city decades ago that they must give access to everyone at whatever price they want to pay. So because of the budget constraints, uh, excellence costs money. They have decided to go in this route where they are going to charge out-of-towners what has always been the suggested price anyway of $25. So Sri, how do other museums manage to offer free admissions? Well, very few places in, in, in America have uh, of free museums. In, in Washington is the big exception because the government puts in money into all those wonderful museums in Washington. In New York, uh, most, almost every museum charges a set price and you have to pay that price to go, go to see it. And the argument I have been making for years as someone who cares about culture and the future of culture, that we have to understand that there is value to what we see around us in a museum and that it's worth paying for. And whether that price is $20 or $25 is not the point. The point is we should be paying and we should appreciate everything that goes into putting a museum together. I was not from the museum business, so I feel like I can be a little bit dispassionate about this, that what they're asking for is reasonable. Whether this is the right approach is something that we'll have to see. But this is what they did after studying it for years. It wasn't taken kind of frivolously. This was a very concerted study that resulted uh, in this. OK, so Sri, will artists who collaborate with the Met uh, benefit from these changes? Well, the artists who, uh, who interact with the Met will continue to do what they've always done, which is try to get their work, especially contemporary artists, of course, because otherwise most of the Met work is not contemporary. It's uh, from the ancient world and uh, you know from the last few centuries. So the contemporary artists, I think, are still going to be able to work. This, there should be no difference in that. If the finances of the Met are improved and stabilized, that can only be good for the world of art. And we want our great arts institutions to not just survive, that we want them to thrive. And the problem that all these institutions are having is how do you get attention at a time when there's so many things that are distracting us? You know, people used to ask me, what, are the, what is your biggest rival? Is your rival the Museum of Modern Art? Or is it the Guggenheim? Or Natural History Museum? And I would say the Met's, Met's biggest rival is Netflix mm -hmm. and Candy Crush and you know, Life in 2018. Yeah. That's the problem. So they have to fix that by using a combination of the wonderful art that they have and then technology to connect and make a real connection with the folks who are, may not care as much about art, but bringing them into that door. Yes. Street, uh, last but not least, do you think that this is going to be a trend and museums that do have free admissions will start charging their visitors? Well, we'll, we'll we don't know. It'll depend on what kind of other ways in which they can supplement their uh, the, you know, the, the way that they need to balance their budgets. And so th you may see this happening in some, some other places, but the Met is in a very unique position because they have this agreement that dates back to 1870 about how they should uh, treat uh, the visitors who come in the museum. I'm hoping that tourists will see that $25 is a bargain to go to the Met and that mm -hmm. they will continue to come. And the fact is that New Yorkers uh, can pay whatever they wish. And so we hope that New Yorkers will continue to do so. I had a teacher who used to tell us it's, a, it's criminal to live in New York and not go to the Met once a month. So everyone should go to not just the Met, but wherever you are, your great museums in uh, all over the world, everybody should go to them and support them. We totally agree. Everyone should go and visit these great museums. Uh, Sri, thank you so much for giving us that great review there. My pleasure.